या हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग द फर्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ फिजिक्स इन साइंस द नेम ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल इज एज इट हैज बीन रिटर्न इन द कंटेंट दैट टू ट्रेस द पाथ ऑफ रे ऑफ लाइट पासिंग थ्रू द रेक्टेंगुलर ग्लास लैब फॉर अ डिफरेंट एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस एंड मेजर्स द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन इमरजेंस एंगल एंड इंटरप्रिट रिजल्ट as you have learned in the theory that suppose we are having a glass lab and if the ray of light that is incident ray is coming from the object then this ray get bends whenever it get enters into the denser medium and this ray get bends towards normal when it is enter from rarer to denser so this is what the angle of incidence as you can check this is the angle of refraction when it is another side and when the rays will come out from that glass lab again Again, it will get refracted away from this one as it has been shown over here. So, from rarer again denser and denser to again rarer, it will get comes out. And in that case, we will get this kind of ray diagram as it has been shown. Now, we here we will consider the angle of incidence first, which we will be fixed, which we will uh, consider as a uh, like forty degree or thirty degree. And accordingly, we will get the value of angle of refraction that we can measure. and we'll just observe this particular two pins that means object from the other side through the glass lab right so let's discuss about how to do that if we check about the observation table then we will write few readings of angle of incidence then for that angle of incidence what angle of emergent we will get over here and what is the angle of refraction inside the inside particular glass lab and by using this one we can measure the lateral displacement in centimeter you can check it out this is lateral displacement that is a displacement of that emergent ray that means the distance of that emergent ray from the incident ray you can check it out this is incident ray so incident ray and emergent ray there is a distance between that is called lateral displacement that we will measure with the help of normal scale yeah before starting the experiment we just we just learn about what the apparatus that is the drawing board sheet of the white paper glass lab pins thumb pins then the pencil and the protractor now as you can check we are having this a glass lab you can check it out this is of a glass lab we are having a paper board then this is what the background can check it out this is what the pin which is on our, our object and this is what the protractor which is used to measure the angles now what is the procedure of this one first as per this uh, this diagram ray diagrams can check it out we have to fix this two pins with certain angle so we have decided that this angle is of 40 degree so first we will discuss this particular angle of incidence is 40 degree so the angle of incidence is what 40 degree so we will just check that what is the angle of emergent and what is the value of angle of refraction over here inside this glass lab now in this case first we have to fix this glass lab in this manner as i have drawn this complete rectangle at the corner of this glass lab we have to fix it in a proper way can check it out now this is what the normal which we have drawn to this particular point and we have drawn this two objects okay along which the rays are coming so this is will be considered as a incident ray and this i have already calculated it is of what 40 degree now what are we doing over here that if we observe from the other side of the glass lab like this one if you check it out you can check there are two pins okay now we have to adjust our view in such a way that both gets coincide in this manner and there we will fix this particular here we will fix what the particular other pin so not only one but we will fix two pins over here so that all four pins will get coincide in one pin okay as you can check that if you change the angle here you can see the two pins and if you change this particular angle you can you can see the one pin this is called as what the coinciding 
along the straight line. Now again we'll just check that there are two pins. We can see that the two pins separately. Now we'll just change the angle in this manner. You can check it out. Now you can see only one pin. Let's fix out the next pin. Okay, that is exactly over here. You can check. Now this is what the pin again coinciding with remaining two pins. That means back side two pins. And one more pin we will just fix over here. And you can check. Here, if we change the angle, you can check that there are four pins. But if you fix it properly, if you adjust your angle in this way, that four pins get coincide. Now you can observe from top side that the rays which are coming from this one, this is incident ray. Now it will not come straight; it gets somewhat deviated. You can check it out. This is our what the result. What we will do now hereafter? We'll just remove this glass slab in this manner, and we will just draw the normal over here, and then join these two points so that we will get the refraction ray, and this is what the emergent ray. Now we have drawn this particular ray that is that is refracted ray, and if we measure this angle, okay, by using the protractor, this manner, that the value is twenty four. Degree, right? So we have to write over here that for the angle of incidence, forty degree, we got the angle of refraction is twenty four degree, and same way we can measure the angle of emergent also. That is the angle of this emergent ray with the normal, right? So this observation table I'll send it to you in a PDF form. Just complete out. in your practical journal right and the same way the conclusion you have to write and the precaution thank you so much